ladies and gentlemen. Well, good evening, everybody, and we welcome you ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. EA Sports presents 12 Rounds of Boxing. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. He's the kind of guy that can change a fight in an instant. Remember, even in these early goings, he has the power to end an evening. Yeah, don't go to the refrigerator. Oh, you know what? You can go, but don't open up the soda, whatever. You come right back. That's okay. That's all right. Now pay him back. Go pay him back. Step back counter punch there. That right hand serving well. Get that Halfway through this round here. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Spinks. Spinks' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. That's it, that's it. Good fundamental work, landing the one-two there. Missed that shot up top. There's the combo to the body. Final 10 seconds of round number one. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget. 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Blocks that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Spinks. Finish with the hook. Finish with the hook. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercuts. The tactical game paying off. You can see the counter punch. Yeah, you see the counter punch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Way to block there. Come on, come on. Reaching the half. Hard charging with that right hand. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Comes across with a hookup. Look at that! Right to the head and right to the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. Spinks is going to have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's got to do is grab on a little bit and walk. 
walk to the ropes, chill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing that I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. The There's next no generation punch inside, didn't come, come close. Spinks is trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water on top of the head where you revigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. And you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see if he's okay, and then you have to tell him why he got dropped to begin with. The nice, next generation's nice. punch is far off the target. <laughs> Halfway through this round, takes one but gets one. Good work by Spinks. He missed with that headshot. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Nice work on the outside. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time, okay? You got that? Double jab, baby. Come on. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of jabs, to be honest with you, Joe. And until one guy shows that his jab is bilingual, it's going to stay close. And what I mean by that, if one guy shows that his jab can do more than speak just English, maybe a little Spanish, you know, maybe a little bit of this language where he hooks off and he does more things, that guy is going to separate himself. You missed that uppercut. smashed him with that power punch. That'll teach him to be aggressive with a tall fighter. The next generation's blocking ability is doing well for him there. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Nice strike after catching one by Spinks. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punch. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. The next generation's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Last 10 seconds. Get out the way from those punches. Move your head. Move your head. You 
can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not it's leaning out. against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happens. So, you know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Right back to it upstairs. Circle it. Move, move, move. Do you see any Get way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. The next generation is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Hook off the jab! Hook off the jab! Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Move, move. Keep working, keep working. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Huge right hand comes crashing home. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a good fighter job, once job, that got man. dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Oh, but he didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that he... Sphinx is hurt from that. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. The next generation's legs can't fail him now. Oh, my, is he taking damage. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. The next generation's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Punches and bunches. It worked out well there with that combo. Yeah, you know, the early punches set up the late punches. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Halfway through round six. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand, a real solid shot. The next generation's defense is paying off now. Wow! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So the bell to end that round gets him out of danger. But, Teddy, my concern is what is he even going to look like when the next round starts? Well, that's the thing. The corner's going to have to take care of that, get some ice on him. And also, they're going to have to think, do they want him to go back out? Now, don't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. Keep your distance, all right? Listen, he's done. through this fight as this round gets underway here. But interesting so far, who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. A good block. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Able to dismiss it. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Double up your punch. Come on, now, champ. Spinks is doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. So he went down earlier, and yet he's still good, fighting good. with the same kind of style, the same kind of disposition he was fighting with before the knockdown. If I'm the opponent, maybe that's a sign to me that, hey, maybe I didn't hurt the guy that much. Or maybe it's a sign that this son of a gun is just very predictable. He can't change. And maybe I'm going to have a party tonight because I'm going to keep catching with the same thing until he takes it away from me. That's a good point. Spinks is hit by a counter punch there. Come on, get busted. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot and then comes back with an uppercut. Spinks is putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. And this round comes to an end. Fighting on the inside with this guy. Now I want you to use the ring and keep your distance. Don't let him breathe, he's hurt. Get him in this round, come on. Cover up. Okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. I don't know what it was the past few rounds, but as we start this eighth round and I look at your scorecard, I think it's clear that you've got the right guy on top now. He started to pull away a bit. I know, look, I don't know what it is either, but I know what it's not. It's not what he ate. It's not even the training regimen that he's been on. It's more about what he wants. And now it's time to get it. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top. You know, we look at the punches going away. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look Keep downstairs. Moving. His Keep feet moving. are not set. He's falling all punches. over the place. And head. guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. Seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Hits him in the mug with the right. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Shake it off, shake it off. Fix is stunned and he is hurt. Somehow he's avoiding going down here. All of a sudden, some good defense after a lack of it cost him. He engages in the clinch. Jump on him, jump on him right now. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away.
Able to defend and then go on the offensive. Able to dismiss his opponent's no shot the and then comes back with an uppercut. Spinks is well off the mark that time. All right, what's the answer here, Teddy? I mean, time and time again, he is getting hit with headshots by that right hand. The answer is not going to help him. The answer is to go back to the gym and be taught properly how to get away from that punch. Probably too late now. center of the brain, okay? It's all over. You had it in that round. You in control. Next round, now let's keep busy. Good job. We start a new round here. It's hard to believe that we're even in this round based on how that last round finished. Well, if you ever watched some of those Houdini movies, you know, the great escape artist, Kind of hard to believe he got out of some of those fixes he was in. You know, inside that box with chains around him underwater. He's going to have to do a Houdini right here. Each man able to land an uppercut. Targeting that straight left hand. The next generation is doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up. Some of that head movement. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. He's tired. He's tired, champ. Come on, now's your chance. Spinks is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Keep moving. Keep moving. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. You got this, baby. You got this, Lord. Nice work, Gene. Good job there, brother. Real nice. It's over. There you go. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Now just go for the head, knock him out, and it's Listen, I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, count it. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Committing to the combo now, both land. The next generation's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Back to the body. Blocks a shot and pulls the trigger. Oh. Hook off the jab. Hook off the jab. Jump on it. Jump on it right now. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Scored well with that straight left. Keep moving, keep moving. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Uh. 
Keep moving. Keep moving. That's okay. That's okay. Let it go. Let it go. Not able to land the uppercut. Spinks is able to land a good, solid left hand. Teddy, he's having a field day. He's peppering him with shots from the outside. Well, when did we all of a sudden show up at a bull ring? Because I'm watching a matador right now control that bull and not letting that bull get near where he can gore him. That's defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That'll keep him away. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body. So the start of the 11th round, Teddy, you have him down by just a slight margin, but just to look at him, to look at these two guys, you can tell he has less left in that gas tank. Yeah, and does he want to find it? Does he want to go to the reserve? Everyone, Joe, even you, has a reserve tank. Go find it. Scores well to the head with the right hand. The next generation's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Come on, get focused. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Get that head moving. Double up Digs in with Come a on, good man. solid uppercut after taking a shot. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Spinks is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. The next generation's whiff in there. A big, wide, sweeping shot. I'm perfect to counter against. Yes, it is, and you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time he's going to capitalize on it. Good, clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Spinks. Exchange there. Putting his punches together, landing two shots there. That's it. Zoning in with the overhand left. As we're between rounds now, Teddy, it gives us pause and time to reflect on what he's accomplished. Spinks is precision punching his carry this fight. Yeah, and I'll tell you, it's not because he ate a lot of carrots when he was a kid and he has real good eyesight. It's because he's calm, he has good technique, and that is why he's right on the mark. Listen to me. This is it. One more round. I want you to catch him on the way in, okay? Time your uppercut when he comes forward. All right, listen, you need to create more counts, okay? Final round of this scheduled 12 round. That's what I like to see. That's Dismisses what I his mean. opponent's headshot. The next generation's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure, anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. There he goes with the right hand again. You see him holding on. Spinks' punch didn't come close. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And he clinches yet again. Spinks' right hand working well that time. He scored well. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh! 
Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. One, two. One, two. Work. Come on. Get That's great stuff. He fired big, big shot he just scored with. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, get up, five, get up, six, get up. seven, eight. The unexpected final bell as we will now await to hear the judges score. We thought the styles of these two guys, they would go after each other early, but sometimes too much respect for each other, and that's where it turned out. Binks' dominating performance gets the payoff with the decision, a unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. It was an easy one to score. I mean, he did it fundamentally well. It wasn't just with talent. He did it with the jab. He did it with control and range, going to the body. Great night. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.